everyone welcome back to my channel now today i want to share with you my personal story on how i started trading and the steps i would take if i could start all over again from scratch tomorrow so trading is a skill that can take years to master but with the right mindset and approach it can be a very profitable and rewarding experience so if you're interested in learning how to trade the most effective and efficient way from my six years of trial and error stay tuned so a little bit more about myself i started trading about six years ago with no prior knowledge or experience. I had just come out of college, right? I just finished my A-levels, I was 18 at the time. And I had a little money because uh, before, I, when I was 16, I started my first business and it was uh, mainly around reselling, right? I was really reselling shoes mostly and uh, I had a, uh, a little bit of money to play with. But I always was interested in the financial markets, mainly because my favorite movies were, still to this day, are you know Wall Street Never Sleeps, Margin Call, and then obviously Wolf of Wall Street. Now, these movies are not a real indication of what trading is. Actually, I soon learn. But I always had an interest in the financial markets. But the main reason I was uh, drawn to trading was the because the idea of uh, making quick profits and being my own boss, mainly because I have always had an entrepreneurial spirit at a very young age. However, as you can imagine, things didn't go as I planned. I lost a lot of money in the first few months and quickly realized trading was not as easy as I thought it would be, which I know a lot of people do. Now, after taking a step back and reflecting on my mistakes, I realized I lacked a solid foundation and the necessary skills to succeed in trading as a whole. Because you have to understand, the majority always lose. Okay, 95% of traders lose. So in order to approach this the correct way or the most profitable way, I had to be willing to do things that the others are not and go about things that ways that the others um, aren't just doing. So that quickly shifted my mindset. And from that point forward, I made a commitment to educate myself and take a much more disciplined approach when it comes to trading. Now, the first step I would take if I could start from scratch is invest in education. Now, this is something I struggled with in the beginning mainly because I either wasn't looking at the correct um, education because I was looking at you know, the wrong mentors, I was looking at the wrong things. Again, with the induced the ideas of making quick profit, quick money, I was falling for a lot of scams in the beginning. And I know this was crucially a wrong thing to do, especially with the bad mindset I had very, very early on. But because trading is a complex field, it is crucial to have a good understanding of the basics before driving in to the markets. Now, there are plenty of resources available online, including books, online courses and trading communities that can help you uh, gain knowledge you need to succeed. Especially today, there's plenty of free information. Now, the problem with that can be is that I've had a lot of students that have mentored that go online and see all this very amount of, you know, spectrum of information and they just get confused. They get immensely confused and go things a hundred different ways. And sometimes it feels like going a hundred miles a minute. So it can be very, very few confusing and frustrating. What I recommend is to focus on one mentor and one um, form of education. Find the most reputable education and focus on people that actually trade. You can, people that actually um, are giving you true value from and you can actually see them live execute and trade. Don't look at the marketing and the lifestyle. Focus on the true education and then do your research, find reviews, etc. and invest in that. Okay, invest in the right mentor because it will pay immensely. Now, step two, practice. Now, once you have a good understanding of the basics, it's time to practice. Okay, demo accounts are an excellent way to get started without risking any of your own uh, capital. The way this way, it will allow you to test strategies to see um, just to get a feel of the markets and to uh, uh, ability to see if these strategies actually work in real time, in real market conditions. You should practice until you see some sort of consistency and feel much more confident in your ability. But this should only happen in the beginning because one thing you need to understand, demo trading will never translate well to live conditions. Why? Because when you have real money on the line, your emotion and your psychology is put to the test. And one thing you'll realize is when you're trading on demo, you have much better results when you're trading live. Why? Because in a demo, you don't care. You don't care for the outcome. It's not real in your mind. But you can't do it when it comes to live trading. Why? It's because you're allowing your emotion and your psychology to get the best of you. This is why when you actually trade in live condition, this is the only way you can improve your psychology in live condition. And this is where your execution gets better. But because once your execution, your psychology gets better, that's where you start making a lot more money. So scalability comes from live execution. So I only recommend demo trading in the beginning section of your trading. Once you do get that consistency and the understanding of how uh, the live markets work, then you should start live trading. Just put a little bit of money in 
you know, something you don't care about just so you can start understanding what it's like to lose. OK, now, step three, find a trading style that suits you. Now, there are different types of trading styles, such as day trading, swing trading, intraday. Finding a style that suits your personality and your lifestyle is crucial. For example, say you have a full time job, um, intraday trading may not be the best fit. So you could hone into uh, swing trading, for example, which may be a better option for you. Now, uh, for me in particular, I am a swing trader, mainly because I have other businesses that um, require a lot of my time and attention, but I have a narrow window where I just set two hours a day on the charts where I know my system is most optimal at with no distractions. I focus on my charts. If my setup is there, I execute and I step away from the charts. Why? Because I understand that my edge um, does not um, rely on, on a single outcome. My edge is played out over a series of trades. That is where my edge is played out. I do not care about a single outcome of a trade because I know over a series of trades, my edge will play and I will make money. OK, this is where the confidence is derived from. So you need Need to find a style that suits you best now step four is create a trading plan now this will um, help if you have the correct you know mentor to guide you through how to build a profitable system if they're truly profitable themselves but a trading plan is a set of rules and guidelines that you must follow when trading it includes things like entry exit strategies risk management trade management having a trading plan will help you stay disciplined and focused which is crucial for success in the market i don't care how much experience you have if you do not have a concrete trading plan you will not make any real money in the markets that's why it's very very important for longevity you need to have a system and again over a period of time as you have more experience and you um, data collect you can refine and um, optimize your system and tweak it and you'll understand your system much more better as you collect more data one thing you need to keep in mind if you understand your system in and out to the best hours they uh, work at the best days they perform at um, what conditions uh, they're the most optimal you'll make a lot more money than someone who may even have a higher win rate than you so this is very important to have a trading plan and stick to it because once you stick to it you allowed uh, yourself to create much more information based on that strategy or that system. You're allowed to collect data, to tweak, and you're allowed to optimize to something that works uh, most optimal for you, and that's where you will make the most amount of money in. Now, step five should be very obvious, but it's something I struggled with in the beginning as well, but again, it comes with time, risk management. Risk management is very essential for trading, especially for longevity. You should never risk more than you can afford to lose. Just like in demo trading, just because you don't care about the outcome of the money because you know it's not real, if you apply that same psychology to real trading, which takes time, you will get those same type of results when it comes to demo trading, okay? But this only comes when you uh, risk money you don't care about losing. Why? Because your emotions are not attached to the outcome of the trade. Once your emotions are taken out of the market, you become a much better trader. And that's where uh, profitability is basically comes from. So a general rule of thumb is to risk no more than 1% to 2% of your account per trade. Again, depending on how your system works, you should... Uh, Obviously, very simple, always use a stop loss to limit your exposure to the markets. This should be very simple, but I cannot um, say this enough times. Risk management is key because you can have a home run, you can have a big winner, but those big winners are not going to um, make your uh, career. What's going to make your career are those singles and doubles, right? Not those home runs. Because those singles and doubles are going to allow you to compound your account over time. And that is where the real money is made in the longevity. Now, just a few final tips. Don't focus on profits. Just focus on the process and acquiring the skill. Because I promise you, in the beginning, you will lose money. And you need to get comfortable with this. That's why I recommend only putting little pots of money you do not care about. Just to understand uh, and build your psychology and your risk tolerance. Because if you enter the market with the idea of making back all you may have lost in the past, it will only lead to revenge trading, which will only make things worse. It never works. Revenge trading will never work and it will only lead to more losses. Trust me, I know. Focus on the skill and the money will follow. If you have the right mindset for this, you will succeed. So for example, this is something I uh, teach my mentorship students in particular. It takes a doctor seven years to um, graduate, to even come close to uh, a patient and operate on them. So you can't come in your first month learn something and then expect to make a million you need to have the long-term approach because this will increase your probability of success as it will set your foundations and your psychology will always be set in the right place this will 
increase your probability over time to get to that end goal. You need to have that long term approach so you can actually make money in the market. And this is coming from a, a, a trader that's made over six figures in the market. And I've been trading for about six years now. So that should come and say all the money I made over my um, uh, three years of trading when I was, you know, not um, consistently profitable. I made that back up in less than um, six months of trading. I made all those losses back and they were substantial, by the way. But this is because of my own stupidity at the time. But thankfully, I had other businesses because I've always was an uh, entrepreneur. It didn't affect me as bad as it may have others. So this is why I immensely say do not focus on the profits. Focus on the process because once you have the skill, the money will come. Now, secondly, don't strategy hop. Don't hop from strategy to strategy looking for a holy ground. Now, this is something I struggled with in the beginning. And I see a lot of traders do as well. Because when you strategy hop, you're looking for a holy ground. You're looking for something better. You're thinking the grass is greener somewhere else. In reality, it is not. This is a human um, uh, concept that we all deal with to some degree. We always think the grass is greener somewhere else. And we often learn it really never is. So stick to one strategy, stick to one mentor and build on top of that. Because... Once you find a system that um, resonates with you, stick with it because you'll build your edge within that system, collecting data and fixing your psychology as you refine and optimize. Because if you know your system inside and out, you can make much more money as you tweak and refine your trading over time than someone with a higher strike rate. So stick to one mentor, stick to one uh, system and um, focus on uh, refining and optimizing. That's where the real money will come. And the longer you do this, the quicker you'll get to where you want to get to in terms of your trading goals. In conclusion, trading is a challenging but rewarding experience. So it is very important to have a solid foundation, a disciplined approach and a willingness to learn from your mistakes. This is crucial when it comes to removing your ego and have the ability to unlearn and then relearn. This rings true, especially if you have um, experience with other you know, bad uh, mentors or education. So it's very crucial to be able to learn from your mistakes. And this is where journaling comes in as well, which is very important. But by following the steps outlined in this video, you can increase your chances of success in trading and increase the probability of not only having success, but be able to hit those goals that you have set out for yourself that may right now seem um, hopeless or may seem out, way out bounds of. But if you keep discipline and approach and follow these steps, you can get there. I've done it and so can you, all right? So if you guys are interested in um, my mentorship program, link will be in the description down below. It's not launched yet, um, mainly because um, I've been focused on other things, but I do get a lot of uh, messages from my one-to-one -one students and a lot of um, people on YouTube and Instagram. So uh, I've been working on this for quite a while. Um, it will hopefully release next week. So if you guys do want more information on that, link will be in the description down below. But this will be a much more extensive um, mentorship. It's more for people who are actually serious about uh, pursuing trading as a career. So if you are not serious, please don't um, apply um, because um, I'm not going to accept you. So, um, yeah, with all that said and done, if you guys enjoyed this video, please do like and subscribe. And I hope you extracted some real value from it.